In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to add custom fonts in React Native. Let's open Google and just type Google Fonts. Let's press save and let's browse fonts. Let's select any font that you want. Any font that you want, just download it and you can use it in React Native project. For example, let's download this font. Let's press in Git font and download all. Here we have downloaded our font. Look, just copy those files with TTF extensions and put them inside your React Native project. So let's open our React Native project. Let's go to assets, fonts folder, inside assets in fonts folder. Just copy those fonts and press them here and paste them here, okay? We just need two steps to link those fonts. First, just create a folder here called React Native Config. Here, react slash native dot config dot gs. Inside this folder, just type module dot exports equals to an object. Inside this object, just add the assets property. Inside this assets, just open an array and put inside this array the path to those fonts. The path is open src, this folder, slash assets, slash fonts. That's it. That's it. To get this path, you can just mark this folder and just paste on copy relative path. Lock, screens, assets, fonts, okay? Now our last step, just open your terminal and type this code. nbx react native slash asset and let's press enter just type y and great now our fonts has been linked all what you need to do right now just copy the font the font name and just add a property called font family and just paste the font name for example this this is human plaque just copy it and paste it here and don't forget to rerun your app because you need to run rerun your app because if you don't rerun it you will not notice the font family okay so you have to rerun the app after linking the assets look that's our font family it doesn't look very good, but you can choose whatever you want. You can choose better than this. Let's create a, some copy of them. Let's try another one. Let's try this bold. And let's try this light. And let's try this regular. And this thin. Now we have here a black, a bold, a light, that's the light, a regular, and thin. Let's reduce their sizes. For example, let's make it 20. Oops, <laughs> that's very small. Let's make it 50. That was our lesson, but I want to mention a very important thing. Since we are creating a full react native project so this code is not cleaner this code is not documented and it's a bad structure and if you just keep it like this your project is not structured well so we need to store those fonts inside constants so inside our folders inside styles folder let's create a file called fonts dot ts okay and let's export fonts object equals to export const equals to 
Let's just copy those fonts like this. Let's paste them here and create an object to store every font family. For example, and human black equals to this string. Okay. Oops, it's not equals because it's an object. And and human bold equals to this string. Then and human light equals to this string. We still have two and human regular equals to this string. The last one is and human then equals to this string. Okay, now if we go to our app.tsx, just instead of and human plaque, just type fonts dot. You have those properties right here. And human black, bold, light, and so. So let's replace this code with this fonts object. Now it's better. Okay. You can replace the, the list of them. Let's add TypeScript here. In TypeScript, this, ver this version, fonts is defined as a constant object where each property represents a font name as const. So just type here as const. Okay. Then let's export type font name equals to key off type of fonts okay that's our typescript for fonts this font name is a, a union of all keys of the fonts object this ensure that whenever you use one of these font names typescript will check that it's a valid font name defined in the fonts object okay that was our lesson don't forget the like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in next lesson.